my name's James Benfield and I'm DOP on the on-off shoot today. To be honest, I'm not primarily a DOP. I've done DOPing on a number of jobs over the years, but I've been a freelance camera operator for about 13 years. And so you go through the whole range of different types of job. And when you're lucky enough and you've worked up enough experience and uh, contacts and people trust you enough, you get to do some really good stuff like this, like DOP on something like that. So it's not been a direct pathway. I'm sure there are pathways, but mine's been all over the place. You know, I work wherever the work is. Darted off doing a lot of PSC, you know, portable sound and camera stuff. Um, lighting PSC, really. Um, I was lucky enough to get some work with Digital Channel with Redheads and PD-150s and DSL-500s, that kind of thing. Uh, so that really trains you up in how to do location stuff and it, after uh, making loads of mistakes when you start, you know, you get back best practice. Then I moved off into doing uh, reality, which I still do. I, you know, I supervise down at um, Big Brother for all to record. Um, and done a number of jobs through them, just a variety of reality jobs and uh, also um, a lot of corporate, which is kind of the opposite way around. Often at the end of your career you go and do that. Where I started out doing a lot of corporate, um, which takes you out the broadcast circle for a bit, but it doesn't affect your craft, if you like. You know, you end up being more dedicated and getting good money for it, but it's, yeah, it's out the loop. I really like having creative control. And, well, after a years and years and years of working with people that you trust, like Colin, um, you get to the point where he, you get a chance to have creative control, you know, you don't have to sit at the back and suggest things that get lost, you know, you can actually stamp your foot down and take responsibility for it, really, when you're confident enough for that. <laughs> it's, a, it's a massive people business. I mean, everyone says it, it's a bit of a cliche. You have to be really willing to put yourself out, maybe work for free, um, be really nice, get on with people. No one wants to work with someone that's a bit odd, you know, without being um, sounding mean or harsh. You have to really gel with who you work with and take a variety of work, you know. I think my career meant that I took whatever work came away, whether it be reality, location, broad, broadcast, like at home, whatever it will be, you kind of just go with the flow and work that way. I mean, I wouldn't suggest you just stick with one thing and that's how you'll end up being a cameraman. You need to sort of decide, am I going to be an assistant and work my way up for seven years or am I going to say I'm an operator and try and crack my way in that way? So yeah, advice is be really keen and work hard and never turn up late. <laughs>